Okay, so one last um, auto load feature that we want to discuss this time is the class map. Okay, so the class map is very similar to PSR4, um, but there's one um, difference in that the class map does not um, rely on subfolders to um, conform to the namespacing that PSR4 conforms to. Okay, so I'll show you what I mean in a moment. Okay, so let's say um, in our app um, folder here, we have some other folder there called classes. Okay, and inside there we have uh, some classes called, let's say, um, class1.php, and we have another one called class2.php. So let's just create that. 2.php, and um, we have another folder called um, subfolder. Uh, sorry guys for this naming, but I just wanted to make a point. And we have another class there called class3.php okay so let's just create those classes um, so class3 not extending anything and um, the argument nothing so let's just say echo inside class3 okay so we'll just copy these quickly now I'll go to class2 and I'll just change this to class2 inside of class 2 and I'll go to class 1 and I'll paste this there as well so I'll just say class 1 inside of class 1 okay so with the PSR 4 standard that we um, described in other videos if you have a folder um, named this way and you have another subfolder so ideally with PSR 4 class 3 should have a namespace of um, the base namespace if we specified one which is app and then we'll have uh, this subfolder appended to app. So in this case, we'll have subfolder. And then, uh, let me just rectify this. And then we'll have, uh, yeah, that's it. So this is how we have to structure our class, that is class three with the PSR4 standard. But with PS, uh, sorry, with the class map um, autoloading feature, we don't have to do that. Class map will just um, recursively go into this um, classes directory and just load any classes there as they are whether they have namespaces or not. So we can just put any namespace here. You can say namespace, any, and then that wouldn't uh, matter where if it whether it conforms um, or it's the same with this subfolder here. So let's go to our um, auto load um, property here and add class map. But so basically we're just telling class map that we want to load every class inside of this classes folder. And uh, it is inside of app um, forward slash classes. Okay, so let's go back to our um, terminal here and run a composer dump autoload. So now let's go to our index here and let's uh, comment this out from the previous videos. Now let's just do class equals to new class one and um, it should automatically exist in our project. So let's go back to the browser, refresh, it says inside class one. So let's do again class two um sorry equal to new class 2 and we should see that in the browser as well so instantiated inside class 2 so um let's just duplicate that now for class 3 um because it lives inside um a namespace which is any we uh, we have to try to access it using that namespace so we can say app and then uh, class 3 so that's how it will work let me just show you that it wouldn't work if you do um, class 3 automatically just like that you'll have an error it says class class 3 not found on line 14 that means we are not using the namespace so adding the namespace there uh, sorry not app any because um, inside class 3 that's the namespace here so let's go to a browser and refresh it says inside class 3 okay so just to recap once more let's have a look at uh, the psr4 um naming so psr4 you give a base namespace which is um this app here and then any folders inside a base namespace um will have um that um, folder appended to the namespace of that class but for um that the class map uh, feature we do not have to conform to that standard we can just name our classes anyway with or without namespaces and the class map will automatically load anything um, inside that main folder 
here as we specified in app classes and this is an array so you can list as many classes um you want as i'm um, sorry folders as you want so if we had another folder called um let's say uh, functions as well so you can name that um, there list them there as well so it will load all those classes for you anyone it finds inside um, that folder and subfolders okay so that brings us to the end of um, this auto load um, feature here for composer um, if you have any questions as usual please leave them in the comments below and if these videos are helpful please like subscribe and um, share the videos as it really helps my um, ratings on YouTube and um, I thank you for watching I will see you soon in another video cheers bye bye